Hello everybody, a very pleasant morning. I have come here on live video to draw your attention to ritual history as contained in Malayalam feature film Chimmi released in the year 1967. Now, to begin with, let me start by saying that looking for morsel of information that nobody ever cared to ferret out. K. Sina's MA dissertation, Material Culture and Life Cycle Rituals of the Aryans of Talai in Telichari, done under the guidance of Dr. Vinita Menon and submitted to Anthropological Department of Kannur University in the year 1997, effectively highlights the Brahmin custom of Udagapuram Kanyadanam through the Dharavarta, which is in complete accordance with Ashvalayana Braksha Sutra Charana as ordained by Prabhakaram Imam Saga. Now, Sina's categorical admission, the Aryan fisherman of Talai claims to have a status equal to that of Brahmins, is a covert pointer in this direction. When she further adds, the priest asks the bride's father, to hold the right hand of the daughter and puts the bridegroom's hand over hers and then he pours tirtam or holy water over the flushed fists. Not that I am rushing to brisk and definite conclusions when this uh, Brahmin wedding custom is represented on the cellular screen in Malayalam feature film Chemi, which happily backed President of India's Golden Lotus Award for the year 1967. But that it do raises basic presumptions, as cited by another anthropologist, Edgar Thurston, in his book Castes and Tribes of Southern India, released in the year 1909. Now, even for that matter, K. T. Renita, another research student at Anthropological Department of Kannur University, in her MA dissertation, Marriage, Family and Kinship among the Kolla Cars of Telichari submitted to the university in the year 2003 says after the ring exchange the groom places mandra kodi on the bride we have all heard of mandra kodi to model or mandra kodi udukkal prior to mukadarshanam in a nambudri marriage we body or panpada however positively the Pallakars are Latin Catholic fishermen who talk of Mandra Kodi like their counterpart Nalilakar and Mutuan fishermen's Kodi Urukkal form of marriage. This definitely raises possible avenues of research. Now, apart from these two exclusive communities, even though polarized apart, such as the Brahmin, Namudri Brahmin, as well as the Nalilakkar and Mukwan fishermen, the use of Mandra Kodi is alien or strange or unheard of among the Nayars or the Urava wedding custom who resort to Vastradhanam or Pudamuri form of marriage. When read in the light of the above, it is only through inductive reasoning 
that the infallible logic of social history process becomes ever apparent. It is also gratifying to note that the whole wedding scene in the film rips off with Nallapunnu's Pungali part on the eve of wedding, which again, as indicated by Patmanabha Paduwal in his doctoral thesis submitted to the Calicut University in the year 2000 on uh, material culture and life cycle rituals of the Mukwans of North Malabar in Malayalam, submitted to the Malayalam department. This ritual is suggestive of Brahmani part sung by women of the Nambishan caste on the eve of Nambudri Brahmin marriage. And when Patmanabha Paduwal mentions Penpanam, it is a definite case of Kanya Shulkam when the bridegroom offers Penpanam as in the film Chemin. Now that you may see, not that I am rushing to definite conclusions based on audio-visual representations made on the cellular screen, but that they do raise basic presumptions in a scramble to find space for Sahyadri Kanda Brahmins of the Skanda Purana in history. Even for that matter, adoption of the word Kodi Udukkal for Nali Lakkar in wedding smacks of the word Mandra Kodi Udukkal or Mandra Kodi Uttu Modal among Nambudaris during their time of marriage adoption of exclusive Shastri custom of Dharavarkal form of marriage entails in a certain definiteness on the part of Nali Lakkaran has to be with posterity. Now, Nali Lakkaran fishermen being a polarized community seemingly or supposedly lying at the bottom end of the caste equation it baffles my comprehension how these similitudes at uh, childbirth, wedding and death ceremonies managed to creep in. Are our fraternity of historians oblivious to inherent deceptions of history based on fallibility of historical records? as well as the methodology that resorts to selective and interpretative process of archival material that is often found partial or biased. Now, I would invite listeners' comments on this problem. How the Brahmin custom exclusive i would like to add exclusive brahmin custom uh, penetrated into this polarized community of mukwans looking for more comments have a nice day do write to me or talk to me bye for now